Edmonton Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, many are growing concerned by recent statements by the Minister of Environment and Climate Change that she is, and I quote, in quotes, as much as an economic minister as I am an environment minister, end of quotes. This is profoundly troubling, not only because the Minister of Environment and Climate Change is the only voice mandated in Cabinet to defend the environment. Her opinion contradicts the mandate of her ministry as clearly prescribed in law and her mandate letter. The Environment Act precisely dictates her powers, duties and functions to include preservation and enhancement of the quality of environment, renewable resources, including migratory birds, flora and fauna, water, meteorology, enforcement of laws on boundary waters and other transboundary matters, ensuring environmental quality, no mention of economic development. The mandate letter issued by the Prime Minister reiterates these duties, adding the duty to act to combat climate change, pursue clean energy and environment agreements, complete robust species of recovery. No mention of any duty to balance the environmental protection with economic development. The question is, why has the Minister now chosen to undermine her clearly prescribed environmental mandate?